Here are a few opening remarks by Admiral Zumwalt, the former Chief of Naval Operations. That of the United States, and most especially the United States Navy, must be prepared, ready, and above all must have a clear sense of mission. What follows are the opening remarks made by Admiral Elmo Zumwalt to the International Hydrofoil Society at the beginning of their 25th anniversary celebration in 1995. These remarks will be read to you by Ray Valinga. Admiral Zumwalt said, I summarize factors contributing to the development of hydrofoil and other fast craft at the time that I was CNO and concluded that the same factors pertain today. Such fast vehicles are even more desperately needed today. In 1970, the situation was that we were fighting a war on a guns-and-butter basis and that the money which heretofore had been used for other purposes was going into the expenditure of ammunition and replacement of attrition aircraft. The country was in the midst of an anti-war, anti-military mood. Budgets were at best level and usually declining. The Soviet Union, with expenditures of roughly $1 billion a year to aid Vietnam, was driving us to expenditures in excess of $30 billion a year. The PRC and the USSR were working together to our disadvantage in the Vietnam as well as they were in all of their client states. With the foregoing, I found myself in a position of having to cut the number of our ships, the technologically obsolete ones, by nearly 50% to free up dollars to go into research and development and procurement of new ships. We came up with the high-low mix. At the high end, we achieved appropriations for the CVN-70 and the Spruce-class destroyers. At the low end, we sought funding for the sea control ships, the surface effects ships, the Oliver Hazard Perry-class frigate, and the PHM hydrofoil craft. With regard to the hydrofoil program, the original plan was to produce 35 of them. Only six were built in the formal program. Our concept was to achieve a small, high-performance, small radar cross-section, high-speed, all-weather capability with sufficient armament to deal with the likely threats. Our plan used was to achieve presence in the smaller seas, that is, Adriatic, Aegean, Gulf of Sidra, Red Sea, Persian Gulf, Arabian Sea, Pacific Rim areas, the Baltic, and Black Sea. This would permit our larger ships to avoid risk by laying back until coming in for a wartime operation at the ready. It was capability that would have been particularly useful against the regional threats initiated by the Soviets. The PHM was born in 1970 and died in 1993. The future threats that we face are manifold. A revanchist Russia, the PRC, Bosnian-type operations, North Korea, Syria, Libya, Iraq, and Iran as the center of a block of fundamentalist religiously fanatic nations. Readiness to deal with these threats makes hydrofoil craft of modern design ideal as the low end of modern high-low mix. In this day of threats, not subject to the rational control of the Soviet Union, we would be much better off if we had PHMs in our force. I give tribute to the progenitors of the hydrofoil and the other fast combat craft and urge you all to hang in there.